The myth is that our ancient sacred sites were located on pre-existing natural lines of the Earth's electromagnetic energy and thereby tapping into this pre-existing energy for healing. We believe our ancient medicine men, medicine women, shamans, high priestesses and high priests could create these energies and vortexes at will with divine guidance. Today these lines of energy are known as ley lines, usually masculine and feminine ley lines. And where these masculine and feminine ley lines intersect, it is said to create a balanced vortex. It is believed when present in this balanced vortex, it has a higher frequency, thereby promoting a higher consciousness and enhance our awareness and spiritual connection to the earth. It is said that these vortices across the planet are much like acupuncture needles, diverting earth healing energy to where it may be needed most. How can we challenge what has been quoted as a scientific fact? Well, in the summer of 2010, Sacred Sevens became aware that their heal earth healing ceremonies created these ley lines and vortices, and they were permanent. Now aware of this gift, we were divinely guided to perform nine ceremonies around the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Here you will see the locations and the ley lines created. The first ceremony was in Cape Coral, Florida, and the last ceremony was South Padre Island, Texas. That last night we saw five shooting stars and interacted with five orbs on the beach at 3 a.m. in the morning. Validation, yes. That these energies are important and these ceremonies are tapping into the Earth energies grid. Another reason why being able to manipulate these energies is so important. This is a new Earth requiring new energies. In 4000 BC the Earth's population was 7 million as compared to today's 7.6 billion. The ancient grid does not support this increase in the Earth's population. The stars represent the location of our 12 most populated cities. Each of these cities far exceeds the population of the Earth in 4000 BC. These cities are places where Mother Earth healing energies are needed the most for obvious reasons. Divine Guidance took us on many journeys after the Gulf of Mexico. In 2014, we noticed that 10 of these sites were in line. These sites were Sedona, Arizona, Wichita, Kansas, Monks Mount, St. Louis, 9-11 Memorial, New York City, Mont Saint-Michel in France, Paris, France, Prague, Czech Republic, Auschwitz, Birkenau Memorial in Poland, Krakow Castle, Poland, and Jessop, Poland. Continuing the line around the planet created this circle. The next guided journey took us to the Chichen Itza Pyramid in Mexico. Being on a latitude of 26.478 degrees north, we were guided to perform ceremonies at that latitude. Next subsequent trips were to Puerto Vallarta on Mexico's west coast. We then continued to the island of Maui where we performed three ceremonies, east coast and the volcano in the middle, and then on a beach on the west coast. We noticed that on the east coast of Maui that uh, seven sacred pools was located at this latitude. We did the volcano and the west coast, and here is a picture of the seven sacred pools. Validation, we were meant to be there. Chichen Itza line runs tangent to the previously created circle as if connecting those earth energies together. This map shows these two lines superimposed on a flat earth map with the ancient grid along with the locations of the 12 most populated cities. Notice the ancient grid does seem to serve those cities very well but also notice how close the two new created lines are as well. Is this a coincidence? We think not. 
Notice that the area at the Arctic Circle is void of any energy lines. In June of 2017, in line with the summer solstice, we performed two ceremonies on the Arctic Circle in Norway and in Iceland. You will see a masculine line that headed due north in Iceland and a feminine line that headed due north in Norway. Where these lines would intersect at the North Pole, it would create a vortex. The universe did provide us a sign that we were meant to be at the Arctic Circle. You will see my hotel was located in a village with a population of only 173 people. Yet in plain view from the hotel on top of a hill was a newly created stone circle called the Arctic Henge. The circle itself was void of energies. We did perform a ceremony and the ley lines created did connect to the energy grid of the planet. Here are the places we have visited since 2010. This video is being made public now because it is now time. It is time to support the ancient prophecies on our planet such as the end of the Mayan calendar, the Rainbow Warrior prophecy and the Eighth Sacred Fire prophecy by our Anishinaabe people. These ancient prophecies are what the majority of the planet calls the Ascension. It is said there are people called light workers supporting this, beings who energetically are raising the consciousness, vibration, and awareness of the planet to a state of unconditional love. Light workers will inherently will be using this newly created grid in their work. That being said, we are all able to play a role in this. Simply it is to walk in a good way, leave our egos behind, perform random acts of kindness on a daily basis. Be humble, be courageous, and above all, love unconditionally.